All right, we're back with Armchair Engineer 85. I thought I'd do a funny little video today for my American friends. They wanted to know what the Canadian equivalent to Harbor Freight would be. And it is this right here, Princess Auto. Um, I don't mind Princess Auto. I like Harbor Freight a lot more. I'm just gonna do a walk through the store just to show you guys what one looks like and you can compare for yourself. Uh, right off the bat, uh, it's a pretty big store. Uh, most Princess Autos, I'll give them that. They're no slouches. But uh, let's go inside and have a look. All right, we're in the hand tool section here. Uh, the big brand here, which I guess would be the equivalent of Pittsburgh in Harbor Freight, is Power Fist. That seems to be their major brand. Like I said, they're spacious stores. And they do sell a lot. I would say... Definitely Power Fist is on par with Pittsburgh, maybe even slightly a little less, but for all I know, they're made in the same factory. The big thing is they don't have like an icon tool brand, which is unfortunate. There's no like that in between, between professional series and the lower grade. Got the screwdriver section and punches. Sockets. Here's our ratchets here. They also don't really have the variety, like as far as they've got flex heads, but they don't have a lot of the different style heads that uh, even Pittsburgh has. We're into the specialized tools right now. That's cool. I didn't know they actually sold Lyle tools here. That must be new. I wonder if they have that um, disconnect tool for electrical, electrical harnesses. Doesn't look like it. And this would be the section where you would find it. But that's good. They got Lyle tools now, great. I didn't even know where you could get Lyle tools in Canada. Okay, we're going to check out the welding section now. Okay, the welding section, this is where you're going to find the biggest difference. 
you're not going to find your Vulcan brands or you're not going to find your titanium here, which is unfortunate. Uh, they do sell Hobart, like the lower grade Hobart welders, which aren't bad. I mean, they're made by Miller, but they're not made in the United States. And once again, Power Fist has their own little brand as well. Here's our welding material, rods, clamps, contact tips, brushes. It's kind of, it's not as organized, I find, as Harbor Freight. It's more kind of, uh, I don't know, discount, discount-ish, E. Welding hoods. A lot of variety. Power fist chop saws. Butane, propane, propylene section. All right, let's check out something else. These magnetic trays are nice, but as you can see, you don't get like the color variety like you would uh, in Harbor Freight. You don't get the, um, what is that, the U.S. General, like all the different colors that can match your toolbox. Which is a shame because that is a very nice touch. So here's some jacks. Like I said, the big thing is Power Fist is their main brand. And with Power Fist, you only... Yep. Can I help you with something? No, I'm good. Okay, because this is private property. Um, so... so like I said, Power Fist, they, uh, they're blue. That's their only color that they use. Um, one thing about Princess Auto is they don't sell toolboxes. So you can't get the US Generals or anything like that, which is unfortunate. Um, it's pretty limited here. Uh, what else do they not have here that Harbor Freight would have? Um, yeah, unfortunately, I just got told that I got to get out of the store because I'm filming. Apparently, you're not allowed. Welcome to Canada. But they're going to get me a catalog so I can show you uh, something. Now, one brand that they do carry is Grand Rapids International, and they carry a lot of tools by that. And I really like that brand. Um, if I had any suggestions for anybody, it would be to get their tap and die set. Okay, sorry about that abrupt uh, ending to the tour there. Um, I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. Uh, this is Canada, which I don't know what's going on anymore, but it's basically, it's not even a case of don't upset the apple cart. It's don't even look at the apple cart. It's, um, you know, just shut up and take the jab in the arm, wear your mask and lock down whenever we say to. So that's why my tour through there was uh, fairly quick because I had a hunch. I thought, mm, I just get this vibe. This isn't going to fly here, even if I'm very discreet. And I did the best I could to keep people's face out of it. You know, I, I'm respectful that way. I didn't want anybody being in the video that, you know, was just walking by. Uh, the lady that gave me the boot there or asked me to stop filming I even edited her out of the video, which is a shame because um, every year when I go to Harbor Freight, when I know I'm going to the States, I'll always watch a current, uh, the most current um, walkthrough video of a Harbor Freight that I can find. And I always like watching people stop, they're comparing tools. And sometimes you'll see a tool that you're, you're thinking, hey, I didn't know Harbor Freight carried that. And I'll write it down on a list. So I was trying to get that too. Um, like I kind of discovered that Lyle Tools, which is obviously an American-made tool, is now sold at Harbor Freight. Uh, but like all things, 
the Canada gets. We never we always get the the watered down version. So I guarantee you won't see uh, uh, the full range of Lyle tools. That electrical, that brand new electrical disconnect tool that everybody's talking about. I guarantee it'll never be there. Probably the Lyle tools that are there right now are the only Lyle Lyle tools that um, you'll ever see there. Uh, which is unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. Canada, we always, I mean, we have a very small population. We have, I think Cal the state of California has more people than our entire country. So we kind of just get what we can get. Um, I wanted to show you guys the hardware section, actually at Princess Auto. That's actually one of my favorite sections to go to. They got a lot of bolt kits there. And I love bolt kits because anytime you're working on a project, you lose a bolt, you snap a bolt, or you know maybe you picked up a broken project and there's bolts missing you can easily uh just go in your garage find the bolt you need and carry on with your project it does you know not run into the hardware store or whatever or running to the oem manufacturer trying to find the exact bolt so i really like that and they actually have a really good uh, selection there um i wanted to show the discount section it's fairly big it's nothing really too great though to be honest with you it's it's basically a lot of the shit that our, our uh, Princess Auto can't sell. And they don't offer huge discounts on it. It's not like, oh my God, like 50% off. Like they'll knock like 10, maybe 20% off. And then it'll just sit there. Nobody will buy it. And then they'll ship it out to a liquidator. So yeah, like I said, I would have liked to have done a slower walkthrough and shown all you guys. As I pointed out, you know, there's no toolboxes there. There's no U.S. General which is an absolute gem of a box and, and at a great price for your DIY guy, even a guy that does it full-time, you know, is a full-time mechanic. And we definitely don't have Icon, um, which is a shame. Um, I, I, I was being very complimentary, I suppose, uh, to Power Fist by calling it the equivalent to Pittsburgh and say Pittsburgh Pro. To be honest with you, it is not the quality of even Pittsburgh I would still rate Pittsburgh higher, even by quite a few more notches. Uh, I, I mean, it just is what it is. They're 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 very cheap tools. A lot of people in Canada here, like guys like myself that like to do DIY, they won't even touch that stuff. It's more for just your, I don't know, your homeowner that just needs a couple tools and they, you know, they know enough to just get by and that's all they care about. Um and, you know, I've, I've heard of stories of like uh, mechanics in the States saying, hey, I, I own some Harbor Freight hand tools and they're fine. They're good enough for me, especially the Icon brand. You don't really get that here in Canada and you definitely don't get that at Princess Auto. If you do find like a full time mechanic, a lot of the time they'll have like Canadian Tire, like Mastercraft, their maximum uh, line of tools. They'll have a few of those. But, um, yeah, we don't we don't get that luxury. Uh, another thing is like there's no Daytona, uh, you know, the Daytona Jack, which I have one and the Jack stands, which I think are great. Um, there's none of those uh, at Princess Auto. Like you get you get your Power Fist and you get Power Fist Blue. Like it's like going to an ice cream place and you get one color, you get vanilla and that's all you get. So that's another thing. The biggest thing that separates the two is there's no there's no coupons and there's no super coupons which i know is a big thing for harbor freight um there's no parking lot sales and there's like no free giveaways like okay you you bought uh this so you get a flashlight or you get a tarp like or you get even one of those buckets like there's none of that they don't do that at all um their discounts are few and far between and i mean that's just the way it is so I'm not a big fan of Harbor Freight or uh, Princess Auto. I keep getting the two crossed. Um, I am a fan of Harbor Freight, not Princess Auto. Not a lot of people here are, to be honest with you. Um, it just is the way it is. Anyways, though, guys, I tried my best with this video. I hope that you got something out of it. This video was for, say, my American friends that were, if you guys were curious. Um, I got a lot of friends here in Canada, and they've told me, well, Harbor Freight is just like Princess Auto. And I asked them, I said, well, have you ever been in a Harbor Freight? No. I, I said, if you've been in a Harbor Freight, you would never have said that. Completely different. I mean, you look at the welding section there. You guys got great lines of welders. I owned a Vulcan and I, I liked it a lot. It just had that one little defect. But for welding and like the multi-process welding, fantastic. You can't get that at a Harbor Freight. It just, 
They got the Hobart line, which is okay, but everything else is just, I wouldn't even touch it. Okay, I'm going to um, sign this video off. If you guys liked what you see, like, comment, subscribe. This channel is not about, you know, uh, causing trouble or anything like that or even getting political. I just was heavily annoyed. This channel is about, you know, learning to wrench, uh, you know, ideas for wrenching on things. I'm going to get into some welding here soon and just DIY. So, guys, if you like it, like, comment, subscribe.